Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich with Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bringing you week two coverage of the NFL season and two winless teams here. St. Louis, who dropped a big egg in Seattle, 28-0. And Washington, who played pretty tough against the Giants, but couldn't outlast the NFC East rivals. Washington, big favorites in this one. How could the Rams get back on track here? Keys to victory for the Rams. They're going to have to generate some pass rush. Matt Hasselbeck had a lot of time last week to throw the football, and that's why they lost. He was able to pick these guys apart. They have to get pass rush, especially on Jason Campbell, who has a tendency to hold the ball a little bit too long, so they have to generate pass rush. Also, Steven Jackson, first and foremost, they have to run the ball. As you saw last week, uh, Bradshaw and uh, Brandon Jacobs had a lot of success running against the Washington Redskins. Not big success to where it was 200 yards rushing, but they did enough to keep these guys honest to open up the passing game for Eli Manning. Also, those wide receivers have to step up for uh, the Rams. They, they can, you can get some, you can have some success passing the ball against the Redskins. They have some slightly overrated cornerbacks, and you can have success throwing the ball if they have the time. Well, that's the Giants offensive line, my friend, and this is St. Louis offensive line. So the Redskins front seven is going to be stout against Steven Jackson here. They need to find some weapons for Bulger. Donnie Avery, okay. After that, it's question marks all over the field. Steven Jackson, this team's an anemic offense. And Washington's a great defense, so St. Louis, if you got any of their players, don't play them because don't expect a lot of points. How are the Redskins going to avoid this upset here? Redskins, they have to get Jason Campbell in the groove early. He loves to throw the ball deep. One thing that I noticed about Jason Campbell when he does hold the ball a little bit too long, he's kind of scared to run. Don't be afraid to run. Don't be afraid to take those three to five yard runs that's, that's up the middle uh, you know, that available for you when you open up the passing lane. And also, the Washington has to find some receivers. To me, watching the Redskins play, it seems like their number one receiver is Randall Love because he makes all the catches and all the plays. They have to give more production out there, wide receiving core. And on defense, continue to do what, you, you, what you've been doing. You have you stop the run. you aggressive. They love to hit and tackle. Washington plays an aggressive-style defense. They, should ha they shouldn't have no problems taking care of the Rams this week. I think they beat the Rams rather soundly. I love that front seven from the Redskins, and you're right about the receivers. It's Randall L. But they drafted Thomas. They drafted Kelly. They're relying on Santana Moss. Chris Cooley. Chris Cooley needs to step up, and they have no confidence in Jason Campbell. You know, let this guy's confidence build. He's got some talent, I think. I like the Redskins also. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com. Slash NFL.